What's going on guys, Mush here, and in this video we're going to be covering how much you need to spend on your graphics card. As you guys probably know, gaming performance primarily lies on your graphics card. Yes, if you don't have enough RAM or you don't have a good enough CP, your performance will be limited, but at the end of the day, the GPU is doing the most amount of work. So for those of you that are buying a gaming PC, how much of your budget should you reserve just for the GPU? We're going to take a look at that question. One thing I've seen a lot of people say is that you should spend the same amount of money on your CPU as the GPU. While that may be true in some scenarios, especially if you're building a higher end gaming rig, meaning a $1,200 or $1,500 or even more than that build, something around that, maybe I'd agree with that. But I know most of you guys are on a budget, and if you are on a budget, I would never have the mindset of spending the same amount on the GPU as the CPU. I'll take a graphics card like the R9 280X, for example. It's a very good GPU that retails for around $220. So does that mean if you're buying an R9 280X that I think you should get an i5 4690K? Those are roughly the same price. No, I wouldn't. I don't think I've ever done a build video where I said get an i5 and get an R9 280X. I just don't think it's happened. Mainly because when you're on a budget, you really need to be selective with your other parts so you can get a nice GPU. If you're getting a CPU like an FX6300, I would never say to get a $100 GPU. You can get something much better and still avoid bottleneck. Let's say you have an $800 budget. With an $800 budget, I would say try to fit a GTX 970 in that build. And while that GPU does retail for $320 to $340, and that's closing in on one half of the total budget of your rig, it'll be worth it in terms of gaming performance. So in that $800 build, to fit that kind of GPU, maybe get a non overclock i5 for a cheaper price and since you're getting a non overclockable cpu might as well get an h97 motherboard and save more money there it might sound bad because you're thinking i don't want to cheap out on anything but you're really not think of it as if you're not going over on the things that you don't need to go over on because when you are gaming and i know that's the main goal for most of you the gpu is the most important you do want to spend the most amount of money on it even if that does mean sacrificing in other areas and in reality you're not sacrificing that much because let's say you do get an i5 4690k and then at that point you need a z97 motherboard as well, well then your budget can only get you an R9 280X instead of a GTX 970. In most cases, you would have been better off with the 970 and a CPU like the i5 4460 than going with the i5 4690K and the R9 280X. I think that's one of the main things you need to know if you're deciding on parts for a budget and gaming build. Making sacrifices is okay and in a budget and gaming build, it's almost a necessity to get a better GPU. Obviously, there's a balance to keep. I would never recommend getting like an i3 and a GTX 970 or something like that. So find a balance that works for you, but always, especially in a budget and build you want to use the most amount of money on the graphics card and usually percentage wise it can go from anywhere from 35 to 45 percent of your total budget because i know most of you guys just want a game a lot of you guys don't even want to do heavy video editing or if you do want to do light video editing that's something on the side and at the end of the day your main focus is gaming and the graphics card is the most important part like i said there's a balance to keep you don't want to go too over on one side over the other but making sacrifices to get a better gpu isn't all a bad thing it might sound like a bad thing but it really isn't especially if you're on a budget so thanks for watching this video guys if you have any requests for future videos or you have any questions comments concerns things like that leave them in the comment section down below and as always guys have a great day catch you guys later peace